Okay, right now I've got the Phantom 4 and uh, I'm just about to get it flying right now. Okay, so let's hit calibrate. We want to calibrate this compass right now. Let's do it. Calibrate just like the old one. So I'm just going to do the calibration dance. Look around. Looks like the lights are on here now. And they should start flashing when I get all the way around. There we go. Nice. Okay, so let's look at this copter really quickly. Um, so what's different about this? Well, there's some things that are... We've got the two cameras on the front for the forward-facing sensor. If we flip it open, we've got two cameras on the bottom now for the optical flow plus the two uh, sonar. So this thing has uh, object avoidance and detects things. You'll notice it's a much uh, sharper shell here. It's a lot, lot more streamlined. It's quite thin here. It's a little bit heavier. These props um, work a little bit better. So these just snap on now so they don't screw on. And this helps it when we're in sport mode. So we can go fast and brake and reverse without these props having problems or falling off. Uh, cameras composite. Notice that the card now goes into the body. I wish it was an SD, not just a micro SD, because then we could do faster processing. New battery. It's a heavier battery. It's higher, so the uh, center of gravity is supposed to be better. The motors are a little bit higher. So anyway, let's see what we can do about flying this. Let's take it up in the air right now. And one of the things you'll notice on the app, you've got this detection thing here. It's actually detecting things, but let's launch it. And we're going to take off. Move it forward. All right, it's actually quite a bit slower than uh, it was before, but that's because of the, uh, for the camera and everything like that, we can actually switch to the optical flow at any time. Let me just go to video and I'm just gonna record video so we'll have that. Okay, so let's have a look at it. Okay, it's quite very responsive. And one of the things you'll notice up right now, we're a bit higher, we're at 49 feet, and notice that the optical flow here actually works um, three times as high. There we go, we're at 30 feet, and notice the optical flow is kicking in now, so it's detecting the ground. In the past, it was only 10 feet. Okay, so here's something I've been just dying to do. I'm going to switch this thing into sport mode. So I just move the lever to S, and there's all the cautions and stuff. Let's see how this thing goes. Oh, wow. Wow, this thing is a racer. Here we go. Let's flip it back around. Okay, wow, that's, that's fast. All right, so let's go back to the regular mode, bring it back down. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, so the uh, sport mode is super fast. All right, so we've got some other things on here. Let's have a look at the modes. If we click on here, here's the different modes. And one of them is a tap to fly. So let's have a look. Let's see if we can find a target that we want to fly towards and see how this does. Let's bring it back towards me. What we want to do though is go in here. We're going to choose tap fly. And now we're going to tap on that tree. Close out of there. There we go. So let's see how this goes. All right, so it's flying off towards that tree. It's not very fast. We can change the speed by moving up the slider here. So we're um, increasing the speed now. And it looks like it's moving towards there. So I can hit the pause button on here at any time if I want to stop this. And why, why don't we do that? So that worked nicely. So the other thing we want to do is we're just going to go in here, go into these different modes again. So you'll notice under the intelligent flight modes, these have the same ones as we've had in the past. I have another video on those on YouTube, so you can check those out. So we've got course lock and all those good things here. Works the same way as before. So let's go back here. What I want to test though is the active track. So the active track actually enables me to track myself. So let's bring this closer and see how this goes. Now we can tap. There we go. So let's see if I can walk around and see if this follows me around. Look at that, that's pretty cool. So right now, look, mom, no hands. Apparently it has problems in bright sunlight, so let's see how that goes.
All right, so that's working all by itself. That's pretty sweet. And if I come back this way, will it follow me? That's pretty neat. All right. So let's see if we can increase the altitude a little bit. And the camera tilts down automatically to follow me. All right, that's pretty slick. I like that. Okay, so how does it go for obstacle avoidance? Let's see what happens when I start to work closer to the, uh, to the copter. All right, notice it follows me there. Okay, so there's a setting on here, I'm pretty sure. We'll turn on the obstacle avoidance. We're gonna enable the backwards flying. Okay, let's do that and avoid obstacle. Okay, so we've got these different options turned on. So now let me just bring this towards me and see what happens. Okay, let's tilt this up a little bit. Now if I work closer, let's see what happens. Ah, there we go, look at that. It's moving backwards, so it's literally uh, avoiding me. That's pretty nice. So let's go back here. Look at that, it's following me now. That's super cool. All right, that's pretty neat. And if I walk towards it, will it go back? Yes, it will. So the, so the obstacle avoidance seems to work quite well. All right, so that's just a little, uh, let's just land this right now. We're just gonna cancel this by hitting stop. Bring in for a landing. All right, so it um, looks like the obstacle avoidance works really well. And uh, so that's just a little touch on this. I'll be doing more videos later on. Thanks for watching.